Hello, and welcome to another episode of Green Sofa Reviews. I'm Nathaniel, and today we're going to go over the Asus ROG GU501. Um, now this is a fantastic laptop. I got it at Best Buy. I actually got uh, on sale, got 100 bucks off. It's usually about 1500 bucks, and it's, it's wonderful. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing, even though I've already unboxed it. Alright, so, we got a piece of styrofoam, and this would normally be covered in plastic, but I've already opened it up before. We got a nice box for the laptop, and we got a nice box, see if you can see that. I love this, look at that, Republic of Gamers right there. Got the power supply in there. So we'll go ahead and get that out. Get that set right there. And now we get to the main event. If you look, I love this. If you open this box, it actually presents the laptop to you. Let me give you a close up on this. See that? Lifts it right up. We got laptop itself. Got the ROG logo on there. And you can see all my nasty fingerprints. Yeah, there it is. You can see them. This thing, it's nice. It's got a cool brush, black aluminum finish, but it gets a lot of fingerprints on it. I even cleaned this yesterday and it's already got that many. Of course, my son was messing with it too. But also in the box, we've got a little box. So we've got some stickers, some pamphlets that I still haven't read, and I've had this thing probably a good solid month. Let's see. And you got a little little keychain. Keychain's actually pretty cool. I don't know why I haven't used that. But now. Let's uh, turn the laptop on and show you, what the, show you what it's like. Now normally when that boot's on, it's got a little sound to go with it. I found that to be really annoying, so I turned the sound off, just went into the BIOS. You know, probably 30 seconds to do it. Sorry, I can't see my passcode. Alright, so let's get into this sucker. First off, you can see got the ROG logo right there and it's lit up in red that's the only real gamery aesthetic on the outside of the laptop which I actually don't mind I think that's kind of cool now uh, you can see the screen right here this is actually aluminum on the outside um, it's not the stiffest you can you can see some flex it's not a ton of flex I've definitely worked with worse laptops than this but it's still not as nice as I'd like. Um, but overall, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. The uh, deck right here, it's aluminum. The keyboard, it's uh, RGB. Works really nice. Has a good feel to it. I like this keyboard. Uh, the trackpad, not as much. It's a, it's an okay trackpad. Uh, it's, it's not the best feel in the world. There are Windows uh, Precision drivers for this touchpad but it's still not the best it's just I mean my four-year-old Alienware has a better trackpad in my opinion than this but that was a really good one um, and you can see from my desktop it's it's loaded up I've got a lot of games on here I've really been working this sucker hard now this particular one I got from Best Buy like I said and it's it's just in my opinion, this is probably the best bang for your buck gaming laptop. Um, like I said, I got it for fourteen hundred, and it's got a um, Intel Core i7 eighth gen eighty seven fifty H. You can overclock it, not a ton, but it's still overclockable and it still works pretty well. And then it's got a uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX ten sixty full fat card. It has a 120 hertz refresh rate screen. It's it is a 
it's a 1080 screen, but it's a, it's a good screen. The colors are bright. Uh, all the movies I've watched, all the games I've played, it's been really, really nice. The storage on here is a uh, terabyte. It's a Fire Cuda. It's a hybrid solid state hard drive, which I like it. I actually have I have that hard drive in my Alienware, and then it's got a uh, 128 gig. It's an NVMe.2 SSD boot drive. It's a 128 gig. It's okay. It's not the greatest in the world, but it boots up quick. Everything loads pretty fast. The games I play the most. Um, I've, so I basically got two games on there and then the, the uh, operating system on that SSD. But overall, it's, it's been really quick. It's, uh, everything loads pretty well. I do want to swap out that, uh, that Fire Cuda for an actual solid state drive. Overall, I've been super impressed with this laptop. I can play all my games no problem on high settings. Um, 1080p all day long. A couple of games I can play on ultra settings and it's still getting easily between um, 60 up to some games 120 FPS. So one of the things that I don't like about this laptop I looked on the website and it says it's um, 16 gig 260 Hertz DDR4 RAM which it is but on the website it says dual channel my particular one is only single channel. This is Griffin. He's just dropping by. So with it being single channel, it's not quite as quick as it could be. It's not bad, but I would still rather have dual channel. So that's going to be one of the first upgrades that I do is um, I want to go up to 32 gigs. And I'm going to do, I found a uh, 3200 megahertz kit on uh, Amazon for about 400 bucks. So I'm going to do dual channel 32 gig 3200 Hertz RAM on here and that should really speed things up that plus a uh, terabyte NVMe.2 drive and a two terabyte solid state two and a half inch drive and this sucker will fly overall this is just a fantastic laptop um, and up next, I'm going to show you the internals, and one of the things I love about this is it's, it's just so easy to upgrade. Everything is right there. It's just a couple of screws. You can pop the back off. Super easy, super nice. All right, so now we're going to open this bad boy up. Got my iFixit kit. Love this thing. I know I'm not sponsored by them, but I do love this kit, and it makes working on everything so easy. You know, you open it up. Boom, look at that. Got everything covered. Got a pouch for everything on the uh, actual tool kit right here. The lid turns into a parts tray. It's got uh, little cubbies in here where you can put all your screws, which makes doing what I'm about to do so much easier. And then that tool kit, you've got everything you need in here. It's just fantastic. Alright, so we're going to get out our T5 bit and just go around. Alright, now got all the screws out, so I'm going to take, it looks like a um, tool used for shucking clams, but you take this and Put it in on the side, really anywhere. Just kind of wiggle it in. And then you use this to pop the lid up. Comes up just like that. And that's it. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the inside of the Asus ROG GU501. And you can see here what I was talking about. I've just got the one stick of 16 gig RAM, so it's single channel, but it's so easy to swap out that I'm not that worried about it. You can see the uh, cooling system they got going on. So you got one fan, two fan, and then I love the amount of heat pipes. I mean, the heat pipes just work great on here. 
and then you can see I got uh, my SSD, my Fire CUDA, and the uh, 55 watt hour batteries. It, you only get about Asus likes to say five and a half hours. Really, you get about four hours of regular usage. It's not that great. It's not bad, but it's not as good as I was hoping for. And then you can see some of the speakers right here. The down firing speakers. They're not. The sound's actually pretty good. I know they're down firing, but the speakers on here, the sound is really, really good. This is uh, Intel's newest Wi-Fi card, and I great great signal off of it great speeds too on the Wi-Fi card I, I usually average about 600 Mbps on a uh, 1 gigabit per second internet that I have here um, obviously wired up I do get the full gig and I use it and that's one thing I will say I, I miss having the uh, Ethernet port that I did on my Alienware but it's no big deal. I got a dongle. Everything's dongle nowadays, so it works just fine. Now, when you get when you get your Asus, the first thing I recommend doing is opening this sucker up, getting this off. So you can see here the CPU, GPU, and I've already gone through and uh, done the repasting. I've got the liquid metal, the thermal grizzly conductor, not liquid metal, and the CPU and GPU. And then everywhere else, I got the Thermal Grizzly uh, Cryonaut Thermal Paste. And the temps have just been fantastic. You can have, this is actually a laptop now. You can conceivably have this on your lap and not burn yourself. Before, it got toasty. It got very toasty. But the temps stay down low, and it's just fantastic. Now, I can actually overclock it, have it stay stable, and... Uh, I got I have fours of three on here, and with everything turned up, before I repasted it, it'd it start getting unstable, it'd crash every now and then. Now that I've repasted it, stable as can be, runs smooth, runs great. So that was my take on the Asus ROG GU501, a great laptop at a great price. Is it the best? No, but it's not trying to be. There's some cost cutting in here. The you know the back you saw was plastic instead of aluminum like on the MSI Stealth and the Razor Blade 15. But the top is aluminum, the deck is aluminum, great keyboard, RGB keys, decent factory uh, cooling system, made even better with liquid metal good screen, I mean a 120 hertz screen with a GTX 1060 for 1400 bucks fantastic, I mean it, it's perfect for what I do I only play, I play Grand Theft Auto online sometimes, I'm gonna play Fallout 76 which by the way I've pre-ordered Fallout 76 so make sure you come back to see me play that as soon as the beta launches uh, but I'm gonna be playing that, um, I do Fallout 4 Bioshock, Borderlands, um, I don't do a lot of heavy use games so this works great. In fact I also use this to edit these YouTube videos and it is perfect for that. Fantastic. Just the bang for the buck, I can't emphasize this enough. It is perfect. When I was looking at getting a laptop, I looked at a, at a Dell G7 really nice couple hundred dollars cheaper but it it felt cheaper it didn't have that 120 hertz screen uh, it was all plastic keyboard didn't feel as nice trackpad wasn't as nice the cooling system wasn't quite as good it was still a GTX 1060 it was still an 8750H still had 16 gigs of RAM uh, and it still had a terabyte hard drive but it didn't come with a solid state hybrid drive like this does that fire CUDA and the one I was looking at at Best Buy also didn't have the uh, NVMe.2 boot drive so it would have been slower it, would, it wouldn't have done as well for what I wanted it to do and it was only I think about $200 cheaper at the time so to me just that price disparity didn't make any sense I, 
for me it was worth it to go to that. Maybe for you, the Dell G7 might make more sense, but this, fantastic. I love it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like if you like the video. If you don't, you know, let me know. Leave a comment below. Tell me what I can do to improve. This is my first YouTube video. It's only going to get better from here. I'm going to find my rhythm. Um, and make sure you subscribe because, like I said, I will be doing a Fallout 76 video as soon as that beta comes out. But again, thanks. See you guys later.